Hey everyone, um, I have listened to the context in which Reverend Jeremiah White said, God damn America, and I still don't agree with it, and I'll tell you why. He is right in saying that America is guilty of so many evils that it's not even funny. I mean, they use black people for guinea pigs in the Tuskegee experiments, okay? We have gone into wars and into places that we had no business being in and done things we had no business doing. We used depleted uranium weapons to fight against Iraq, which was a country not involved in 9-11, and as a result have uh, given a lot of Iraqis uh, radiation poisoning or cancer. Do they talk about that in the news? No. <laughs> oh boy, the media is so bought and paid for, it's not even funny, you know, rich folks. But anyway, uh, women in America, they don't. They can work the same job as a man, and they, they don't get the same amount of pay. Um, I even heard about, I believe, in New York or Chicago somewhere where they was using, like, minority kids to, to uh, do drug trials for AIDS uh, medications or something. It was I think it was New York or something. I, I blogged about it on another site a while back, but basically it was taking kids that was in the foster system and... Uh, and, and using them for guinea pigs. They was letting, uh, the government was letting them use, uh, drug companies use it for guinea pigs. Maybe somebody heard about it. Um, down in Florida, there have been numerous cases where it's, uh, government workers have gotten away with murdering children in state custody and, you know, no charges were really brought and those who did it weren't really uh, prosecuted. Um, America kills a whole bunch of unborn children every year and it's and it's seldom for medical reasons for any good reason other than uh you know people being irresponsible and and, and not uh, uh taking precautions to prevent unwanted pregnancies and then not having a, uh, enough of a sense of responsibility to to uh you know raise a child that they brought into the world or that they created so the list of evils and wickedness going on in america is it just goes on and on and on the ongoing prejudice that minorities face in this country in various ways. Do you know that only last year they repealed, they fixed the laws so that they would no longer punish those who use crack cocaine more severely than those who used uh, powder cocaine? Because basically it was a lot of blacks using, uh, uh, using and selling crack cocaine and they were getting a lot more time, jail time, than whites who were using who a lot of whom were using or, or got uh, busted selling uh, powder cane, cane, cocaine. And you know, come on, common sense will tell you it's got to be more injustices in the system than that, racial injustices. So this country is just chock full of wickedness, wicked deeds, uh, going over into other countries, messing with people. So yeah, yeah, I mean, it was inevitable that some of our actions would eventually, our evil actions would eventually lead to us getting attacked on September 11th. But it's not the lay people that were killed on September 11th that were responsible. Because lay people, they just uh, uh, vote people in office and then the rich and the politicians, they determine what goes on after that. It's not like uh, common people have any say in whether or not we go to war with Iraq or Afghanistan. They don't ask us. So the evil that you know you talk about being done by America that's the American government and to a great extent we have no control over it we elect people to office they do whatever they want or they do whatever their rich masters tell them to do as simple as that the American people they just vote somebody in office and hope for the best so to in any way imply that you know uh, America deserved a head September 11 coming to it when the victims were innocent civilians and not government people responsible for making all these evil wicked decisions that have made uh, terrorists angry and that have made Middle Easterns angry with the US is ridiculous you know so I, I don't agree with that you know going down that route you can say that America American government has done things but don't talk about we deserved it or chickens coming home to roost and all that kind of stuff because it kind of implies that the victims of 9-11 somehow had it coming to him. Maybe I've got that wrong, but that's how it feels.
that's how it feels to a lot of people. So going down that route of, of talk is just not good. But in spite of everything that America has done, you know, in spite of all the evils and, and, and what it, what not, the, you don't say, God damn the country you're living in and say, I love my country. You know, you don't curse your leaders and, and curse your country and, 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 and act like you want God to bring down the wrath of, you know, his wrath down on it or, or think that he should. No, no, no. What you say, what you pray is that God save America. God save our leaders. God save the people that's in charge of us. God bless them to have some morals and some values and to do the right things. That's what you say. If you read your Bible, and I won't get into quoting scriptures, it makes it very clear that you are supposed to pray for those over you. Not talk about cursing them or, or, or saying, God damn them. That's not right. That is just wrong. And any body of a Christian persuasion like myself has got to agree with me on that. You pray for people to get saved. You don't be hoping that God will punish them. Oh, I hope God just, just get them. No, you pray that God will save them and that they will repent and that they will feel sorry for their deeds, that they might escape the wrath of God. That's how you talk if you are a Christian. That is how you talk if you are a person of morals, of values. That's how you talk if you are a decent person. You don't talk about God getting somebody. Somebody hurt you and you say, well, I hope God gets them. No. No, you say, I hope God saves them. You know, so I'm not feeling... Reverend Jeremiah Wright and the whole goddamn thing. You know, goddamn America thing. I didn't mean to say it like that. And I hope nobody thinks I'm cursing. I don't curse. I really don't. <laughs> so, but I'm just quoting. Uh, you know, I am not feeling him on that. They can bring all the context they want into it. They can, they can play as much of the sermon as they want, if they want. But the bottom line is, he was wrong. You know? And Obama was right to say that right was wrong. You know, even if he meant well, the fact remains that right said the wrong thing. You know, and I guess that's about all I have to say about that. Uh, I hope uh, people, all of you can understand where I'm coming from. I'm hoping you can, uh, can feel me on this. But if you don't, I can handle that too because... I don't require that people agree with me. I just I just believe that in speaking your mind, saying what you believe is right and wrong, and whatever consequences come from it, come from it. Somebody might call me uh, Uncle Tom. Somebody might say that I'm going against my peoples. You know, just because I say I'm not voting for Obama, I've already had somebody call me a house Negro. You know, and I, I think it's bad when uh, when people do their own people like that just because they don't agree with you and they're the same color as you then somehow they gotta be a traitor that's that's just wrong and I thank God I don't do people like that you know if you disagree with me I'm not gonna say oh well uh, you some type of bad person or something like that or you you're a traitor or something like that or you're un-American I'm, I'm gonna really look at what you say and make sure it's un-American before I accuse you of saying that you know so I'll go out on limb and say that, that what Reverend Wright said was un-American because you should want God. You should be thinking about God. You should be praying that God will save your country, will save your leaders, not damn them. So yes, that is anti-American. That is against America. And hey, if you disagree with me, too bad. That's the way I feel about it. God bless and take care. Bye-bye.